I am Dr. Dan Hanani Frimpong. In this short video, we will be looking at thyroid cancers, what you need to know. We will be going through what thyroid cancer is, the types of thyroid cancers, the signs and symptoms of thyroid cancers, what tests your doctor will do if he suspects thyroid cancer, and then how thyroid cancers are treated. Now, what is a thyroid cancer? To begin with, the thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped gland located in front of the trachea, the windpipe, just below the Adam's apple in the neck. Cancer is an abnormal uncontrolled growth of cells of an organ. And so thyroid cancer is an abnormal growth of cells of the thyroid gland in the neck. Depending on the type of cell and the features of the tumor, we have different types of thyroid cancers. Generally, there are four main types of thyroid cancers. Papillary cancer, follicular cancer, medullary cancer, and anaplastic cancer. Papillary cancer arises from the follicular cells of the thyroid gland. They are the most common type of thyroid cancers and they constitute about 80% of cases of thyroid cancer. They spread slowly and they are commoner among the younger age group. Two, follicular cancer. The follicular cancers are a type of differentiated thyroid cancers. What it means is that the cells, the cancer cells are similar to the normal thyroid cells. As the name suggests, follicular cancers arise from the follicular cells. They are likely to spread throughout the body. Medullary cancer. This type of cancer arises from parafollicular cells or the C cells. The parafollicular cells produce a hormone called calcitonin, which regulates calcium balance in the body. Medallic cancers, as has been noted, will constitute about 6 to 8% of thyroid cancers. Because they produce high levels of calcitonin, calcitonin is used in its diagnosis also to evaluate the extent of its spread and also for follow-up purposes. Anaplastic cancers. These are undifferentiated thyroid cancers. What it means is that the cancer source in this case is very different from the normal thyroid cells. They grow and spread very fast and therefore its treatment is more difficult. So what are the signs and symptoms that may alert your doctor that you may be having a thyroid cancer? By and large, thyroid tumors are detected when ultrasound scan of the neck is done for other purposes. And so we say that these tumors are found incidentally. But the most common symptom of thyroid cancer is a lump or a nodule in the neck. Other symptoms may include hoarseness of voice, difficulty in swallowing, pain in the neck, which may extend into the ears, swollen link nodes in the neck, breathing difficulty or constant noisy breathing. Some may also have frequent cough, which is not related to cold, or they may also present with hot flashes. 
So what are the investigations that your doctor may carry out if he suspects that you have thyroid cancer? The common tests and procedures that will help the doctor to reach a diagnosis of a thyroid cancer will include a thyroid function test. These are blood tests that are done to determine the levels of thyroid hormones in the blood. The second one is ultrasound scan. Ultrasound scan of the neck is done to determine the number and the size of nodules in the neck. Also to assess whether the nodules are solid in nature or they are fluid filled. The ultrasound scan of the neck will also help us to assess whether the lymph nodes in the neck are enlarged. Thirdly, a CT scan could be done. These are scans that are done to determine whether the tumor has spread to nearby structures or distant areas. Thyroid biopsy or thyroid fine needle aspiration cytology. Here, a small sample of the thyroid tissue is taken and sent to the laboratory for processing and examination under the microscope. We also have genetic tests that may be done, which helps us to find out whether the patient or the person has genes that increases a person's chance of getting a thyroid cancer. So after your diagnosis has been confirmed that you have a thyroid cancer, what are the treatment modalities available? Based on the type of cancer and the extent of spread, the treatment may include a combination of the following. Surgery, which is the mainstay of treatment. Here, we remove partially or completely the thyroid glands with nearby lymph nodes. Secondly, medications is also another modality of treatment. The medications are given one to replace thyroid hormone after surgery and also to suppress the thyroid stimulating hormone TSH. Some other medications are also given to destroy remaining cancer cells and these are called chemotherapeutic drugs. The third modality of treatment for some types of thyroid cancer is the radiation therapy which is done to kill remaining cancer cells. It may be radioisotope iodine or external beam radiation, high doses of radiation that is given to kill these remaining cancer cells. So in summary, we've looked at what thyroid cancers are. And we said that thyroid cancers usually will manifest as a nodule in the thyroid gland or they may be found incidentally on an ultrasound scan. They are more common in the 35 to 50 year old individuals. The diagnosis will require specific blood tests and scans. We also have noted that thyroid cancers are treatable and can be cured if detected early by use of the modality of treatment we've discussed. And then follow up is very important after surgery and other treatments. Thank you very much for your attention.